Welcome to Chesterfield. Today I'm going to uh, show you and have a chat about the Senai system. It can be a bone of contention for a few people, but I use it not as my primary water parameter test kit, but as a, uh, uh, a quick check, a failsafe, on the, uh, that there might be some issues. What the uh, Senai slides do are the ammonia, the pH and the temperature. This is something else they do, but it's not really uh, relevant to the koi pond. So I'll show you what we've got, and at uh, the end of the day, you guys make your own mind up. It is an added expense, because it's not your primary test kit, it is an added expense, so it's more of a luxury. If you can afford it, all well and good. If you can't, you don't have to have one. There are other test kits available on the system. I'm not sponsored or uh, uh, by any way by Senai. So there's nothing in it for me, it's just the fact that I have one and people ask a question about it. What we get is one of these and we peel open the pack, take the slide out and soak it in water for 24 hours. What we do once that's soaked is take it out of the pond. Give the unit a little clean in case any algae or on it. Just click the cover off. Take out the expired slide. and pop in the new one. You always give that a little bit of clean just in case any algae on that as well. Click it to, pop it back in the pond, dispose of the old one, and then what we do is open the app on the phone. You can see the app comes up on the phone. I think you can see that. Click on the new slide, and you've got that. Just hold it onto there. Activate. That's it, done. Give it a couple of minutes and the system will be up to date. The Web Cloud server updates every couple of minutes or every 10 minutes or so, and this is the one I got 10 minutes after resetting the slide. And then that evening uh, I did another screenshot of what it says, and again, you can see the readings there. Simple. So how this works is we have a semi pond slide inside this unit. Obviously the water flows through the unit and the slide calculates the readings. These in turn cable comes up here and goes into a Senai web server, that's a non-Wi-Fi one. The reason why I got a non-Wi-Fi one is uh, because the Wi-Fi one wasn't available at the time, simple as that. You can get a Wi-Fi one now that basically will connect to your router from here and give you the readings at a regular interval. It also has a power adapter at the bottom from the uh, 13 amp supply there and then there's an Ethernet cable. This Ethernet cable runs through the panels and into the shed. It comes through the wall there, around the ducting, around the top of the roof and into the Netgear router booster that's connected to the modem in the house. I've also got the Edimax that came with it originally before I had the booster so it could connect from here but it seems to be working fine as it is. I've got uh, internet broadband down here in the shed because I've got CCTV. I've also got a uh, wireless alarm system and uh, lighting controls and everything that work wirelessly through the, uh, the apps on the phones. Right, the basic Senai unit is a uh, uh, USB device that you dangle in the pond with a slide in and it takes readings every so often. 
if it's powered it will store them uh, to memory if you connect them to a computer then uh, you'll be able to access them through the dashboard and you can get notifications if you don't have a computer and you wanted to uh, go that step further you can have a Senai web server and they come in Wi-Fi and non-Wi-Fi depending on your circumstances so basically your sensor will plug into that and connect directly to your cloud either via your broadband wireless connection or via the Wi-Fi unit that you, you can purchase and again that will give you instant uh, uh, access to your dashboard through the app and it will also give you instant notifications if there are any issues with the parameters the parameters mainly are I've mentioned several times are ammonia pH temperature light and I think it does water level as well but uh, it's, it's not really uh, uh, I don't use mine set up in that function Senai as a company provide uh, water check for different environments and the one that we're looking at on my own is for the pond but if you look on the sheet you can see that they do them um, for the home for the reef and uh, it gives you all the parameters and checks and bits and bobs that they do there when you log on to the desktop either through the computer laptop or your app what you get is a quick overview of all the settings in one place and then it moves on to little widgets as they call them that show you the pH, the uh, temperature and you can move them around uh, to anywhere on the app or on the screen but you can also set the parameter checks, that's the red lines at the highest temperature or the highest uh, parameter or even the lowest temperature and it will send you an alert via text message and an email to let you know immediately that there's an issue the main consumable for the Senai is the slide that comes and this is the one for the pond as such it does mention on there the pH rates as such and you can buy them individually or you can buy them as packs off eBay or different suppliers but either way a pack of three can cost around about £19 at present and it equates to about 25 per day which I'm happy as using as my first line of defence for ammonia or pH issues I as mentioned Senai is a add-on, is a luxury, is not a key test kit for the koi pond and uh, if you want to make sure your water's right you do need more than just a Senai unit but either way it's, uh, it's there, it's got its pluses, it's got its cons and it's up to you guys to who does it fit your circumstances, can you afford it and is it any good? Some still say yes, some will say a waste of time but the decision is yours. If you enjoyed the video or you want to check out some more of these videos, please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, hit the don't like button. It's up to you. But thanks for watching. Happy ponding.